All right, so we talked about some ways that you can make your lead magnets more specific, but how do you really dig in and find that, that hook, that big idea, the thing that's really going to grab them and say, okay, I want that, right? In marketing terms, you know, we here at Digital Marketer, we call that the hook, right? What's the thing that's, that's, that's going to get them? You think about, you know, kind of in the old vaudeville days, the long hook where they'd grab someone and pull them off the stage, right? Well, in this case, you're actually grabbing someone, hopefully not by the neck, that's a little bit violent, but you're grabbing someone, you're pulling them and saying, hey, check this out. That's the hook. All right. So one of the things that we like to ask ourselves is uh, if you had two minutes to impress someone, what would you say, show or give them that would blow their mind? If you had two minutes to impress them and typically with, with here, we're talking about a specific example, right? We're talking about a case study. So if you only had a couple of minutes, somebody says, you know, so why should I believe you? Well, you know, recently um, we deployed this uh, this contest strategy on Facebook and generated 250 leads. Um, in, in 18 hours and didn't cost us a, a thing. Really, how'd you do that? Oh, let me show you, right? Show you in a couple of minutes. That concept, that idea for the case study in a specific example comes out of this asking this type of question, okay? So ask this type of question of your company, of, of your, uh, you know, of your end product. What's something really great, you know, that you've done? Also, what's an interesting story? Or example that you can show or tell that proves your product or service works. Again, case study, proof, an example, a specific example. What's an interesting story? Here we get into narrative, right? We get into the narrative. What's an interesting story? We touched on narrative a little bit when we talked about before the before and after grid in the previous module and, and describing somebody's average day. But what if it's not hypothetical? What if it's something that actually happened? Again, those can make really great case studies. And also, what's the one thing more than anything else that your prospects truly want to know? You know, in the, in the commercial real estate, heck, all real estate space, people want to know, what's my property worth? You know, before they sell it, they're wondering, what's it worth? Um, when is she ready to be kissed? What's the wholesale cost? You know, what's the best fishing hole in Waco, right? We had a, uh, somebody who was, who was a student of ours, and, and they, were, uh, they were a fishing guide in Waco. So I said, what's the number one question you get? Now people always want to know, you know, what's the best fishing hole in Waco? Well, heck, tell them, tell them. Say, yep, the best fishing hole, it's over there. Now that I've shown you the best fishing hole in Waco, you know, though you should know that you don't want to fish it with, with ordinary bait and there's, it's hard to get to. And so if you'd like for me to, to take you to this, to this uh, great honey hole, I can do that. I can also show you two more that, that uh, depending on the day can even be better, right? So do you see how there's nothing wrong. Just answer the question. It doesn't make them less likely to buy from you. Okay. It doesn't, that, that's the mistake that a lot of people think of. It doesn't, it doesn't make them less likely to buy from you. It makes them more likely to buy from you because you're delivering value in advance. You're not holding stuff back. It's not quid pro quo. You're saying, look, you know, you ask this question, here's the answer. Now you want my help. You want to, there's some other stuff, the other questions that you haven't asked, but you should have. So let's talk about those, right? That's why this works. So kind of a little action item for you. Go ahead and brainstorm three lead magnet titles. And again, don't get stuck on the medium. I don't care if it is a PDF, if it's a white paper, if it's a video, if it's an article, if it's something that you send out, right? It, it doesn't matter. The medium is irrelevant. Stick to the promise and then let the promise and what your market wants dictate the medium. All right. But they don't care if it's a PDF. They don't care if it's a printout. They don't care if it's a CD. They don't care about any of that stuff. They simply care what the end result is. And the only way they're going to care about the end result that you promise is if you're promising a desired end result that they actually want. So don't answer questions that they aren't asking. Don't try to start a conversation that they aren't having. Okay. Enter into the conversation that's already going on in their mind. Answer the specific questions that they're asking. And in doing that, I'm confident that you're going to be able to come up with some very, very, very clever, uh, more importantly, very effective lead magnet titles.